my fluffs, I'm your friendly fluff dragon and welcome to my channel, where I review character designs, OCs, and art businesses from anywhere and everywhere. If you love character design and want to help a starving artist for free, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all my character creation tutorials, art business tips and tricks, live drawing requests, and more. With My Little Pony's recent release of Sounds of Silence, the Kieran craze is real, y'all. Kieran characters have flooded my Twitter page all week. Follow me at Fluff Dragon Art, by the way. And it sparked the question, could one create a Kieran that would stand out from all the rest of the Adorabitas? I'm here to answer that very question. First of all, why do you want to create a Kieran OC? Is it because they're popular? Different? Have you been waiting on pins and needles like me for MLP to finally add these freaking awesome creatures to their roster? Whatever your reason, be sure that you will care for your soon-to-be-created OC, and don't abandon them when the next big species is released. We don't want sad, neglected OCs, okay? Okay. Before we even start deciding what a character looks like, we need to establish their personality. Keep it simple and think of a single trait that you'll emphasize, even exaggerate. Are they friendly? Mischievous? The odd one out? Stubborn? Reliable? Picked one? Great. Now we're going to use shape language to communicate what this character is like. If they're stubborn or reliable or strict, use squares in your design. If they're friendly, bubbly, or adorable, use plenty of circles. If they're awkward, athletic, mischievous, or maybe even a little evil, mix in some triangles. If you like having a show accurate OC, posing your character in any one of these shapes can give you exactly the look that you're going for. Next, it's time to choose the colors. Karen seems to have muted autumn tones, but that doesn't mean that you're limited to red, orange, yellow, purple, and brown. Just mix in a little brown, black, or even dark green into the color you want to use and blam! Your character fits in without blending in. Also, be aware of exactly what colors go together and what they're communicating to your audience. Is your character bright, bubbly, and cheerful? Using blood red might not be the best option. Is your character fierce, determined, and hot-headed? Put down that muted blue. These little tidbits of advice may help a little bit in your character creation, but what's really going to make a Kieran OC stand out is you. No one thinks and imagines exactly like you do. So don't be afraid to add in a bit of what you love. Maybe you like to hang glide, so does your Kieran. Maybe you like to sing or dance or draw, so does your Kieran. Tossing in little pieces of you can really personalize your character and make them pop. But don't forget the biggest part of character creation, exaggeration. Your OC doesn't like cupcakes. They're obsessed. They don't think cats are cute. They're the most freaking adorable creatures in Equestria. But what are your thoughts on Kirins and the upcoming flood of Kirin characters? Comment below with a timestamp of your favorite part of this video and tell me why you loved it. I want to hear from you. A special thank you goes out to my patrons, Gigabit the Saved Gamer and Hard Brock Life. I couldn't keep creating these videos without your wonderful help and support. If you would like me to list your name here or gain access to patron-exclusive entrepreneur trainings and live streams, as well as 50% off all commissions, merch discounts, and other awesome rewards, click on the link in the description below. Until next time, stay fluffy, my friends. <laughs>